Everybody say hello. Okay, enthusiasm here. We have been talking about how to take the derivative of functions using our shortcut rules. We're going to talk about the chain rule today, which allows us to take the derivative of a composition of functions. So if you remember, composition is when I put one function inside of another function. So here's f of x, here's g of x. If I'm defining h of x as f of g of x, I can write it this way. I'm putting g of x inside of f of x as the input, and I result in this composition of functions. So the question is, how can I take the derivative easily and quickly of a composition of functions? For this, I could certainly expand that out, multiply this times itself five times, expand all that out, and then use the power rule to take the derivative of each term. But gosh, that would be a lot of work. There's got to be a shortcut, and there is. It's called the chain rule. I'm going to take the derivative of this function and a couple other examples and try to figure out what I'm doing. Try to figure out what the chain rule is. Let's take the derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative of each one of these functions, and I want you to try to figure out what I'm doing. So the derivative of h of x is this. the derivative of h of x. Interesting. Let's try the derivative of this function. Mm. The derivative of sine of 5x squared is the cosine of 5x squared times 10x. What the heck am I doing? I'm doing the chain rule. Try to see if you can figure out what the chain rule is. A little more room here. So the derivative of 2 to the sine x is the natural log of 2 times 2 to the sine of x times the cosine of x. Oh my goodness. Chain rule. Pause the video and see if you can figure out what in the heck I've been doing. So you may have noticed that I'm kind of taking the derivative of the outside function and then multiplying it by the derivative of the inside function. So if I think of my original composition here, my outside function was something raised to the fifth. So I'm taking the derivative of something raised to the fifth. Well, I use the power rule to figure out the something, the derivative of something raised to the fifth. And that's what I did here. I did five times that as it is raised to the fourth. That's like a big power rule. Then times the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 6x cubed minus 5x is 18x minus 5. So the chain rule is often described as the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. So let's look at this. My outside function is the sine of something. Well, how do we take the derivative of the sine of something? The derivative of the sine of something is the cosine of something. So the derivative of sine of 5x squared is cosine of 5x squared times the derivative of the inside function. Well, my inside function is 5x squared. The derivative of 5x squared is 10x. So here's the derivative of the outside function. Here's the derivative of the inside function. That's our chain rule. Now with exponential functions, it's always a little weird to think outside and inside, 
But if you think of an exponential function, the exponent is the place where you can put things in. That's the input. The exponent is the input. So my outside function here is my exponential, my 2 raised to something. Well, how do I take the derivative of an exponential function? It's the natural log of the base times that exponential function as it is. But now I put something into that exponent. That's my inside function. So the chain rule says I have to multiply the derivative of the outside times the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of the sine is cosine. That's the chain rule. The derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. Now, the fancy notation, if you recall, if I'm taking the derivative of a composition, so f of g of x, you can pause the video now too and try to figure out how I'm going to notate this. But the derivative of the outside function is going to be f prime of g of x. That's the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function would be denoted by g prime of x. So there is my chain rule. The derivative of a composition is the derivative of the outside, f prime of g of x, times the derivative of the inside, g prime of x. All right, have fun.